Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, so today I'm going to be uh, painting my upper and lower control arms. I'm getting ready to install new ones. Um, I went with the SPC adjustable um, uppers and then the doorman lowers. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is color matching them to my truck. So about like a Nardo gray color. Um, with these, they're just going to be sprayed Nardo gray. And what I'm going to do here is actually uh, spray the SPC in red and then tape it off and then spray the rest in gray. I'm going to show you how to prep, um, get ready to paint them, and uh, just the process on how to do that. So these are the colors I went with. Um, this will kind of match my uh, truck, that gray. And then this is the red I'm going to go with for the uh, SPC. Um, unfortunately, this is another how-to video because we're still in lockdown, so I figured I better do this now. Um, once we're out of lockdown, most of my content's gonna be off-road or camping, but uh, in the meantime, this is all I can do. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so once you've got it all uh, taped off nice, make sure you get all your bushings and you get really clean lines. Uh, you don't wanna get any paint in there. You don't know what I'll do to the rubber. And then also where you adjust your uh, caster, that's a machine surface. So make sure you don't get any paint in there either. And then all you gotta do is tape the rest off obviously, and then uh, hit it with some uh, degreaser or like rubbing alcohol, isopropanol alcohol, just to get any uh, grease or anything from the factory off before you paint it. And then what we're gonna do is hit it with a scotch brite pad we don't want to take off the original paint because it's probably a pretty good finish, but we just want to scar it up a bit just so the new paint has something to stick to, especially on the control arms because they're really smooth and shiny. You just want to make sure that the paint has something to grab onto. Okay guys, so we got everything taped off and we're ready to start painting. I already just did the red logos for the SPC. I'm gonna wait till they dry and then tape them off. Just rub everything down with at least 70% isopropyl alcohol and then give it a light scratch. You don't really have to, but you should with um, like a scotch bright pad or some pretty light grit uh, sandpaper just to help it stick. And then we're gonna get into painting these. All right, about to give them the first coat, just to grease them, give them a light little sand. What we wanna do is just kind of like start spraying here and then stop, but don't start spraying in the middle anywhere and just really light coats. Listen, I'm no expert on painting, but I've seen a couple YouTube videos. So we're just gonna get this light coat like that. Get as much as we can. And I'm using uh, Trim Clad Rust paint. Um, so it's an oil based and uh, I think it's just called gloss gray, yeah. And hopefully, I mean obviously this isn't rusted but I've used this in the past for stuff and it's really strong. So hopefully we have good results. I'm gonna do a time lapse, right? the final product might even give it a clear coat as well
Okay guys, here's the final product. Um, I had a reaction with the uh, the red lettering, so I had to strip all the paint off and redo it. Um, I gave it two coats of clear coat as well. Came out really well. It's super shiny. So next week I'm going to be installing everything. We're going to be making a video on that. So stay tuned. It'll be a two-part series. Painting and then installing.